Hi, welcome to my channel, Takoyaki Tarot. Today is August 22nd, 2024. Why are the cicadas out? It's not even that hot out. That buzzing that you hear, that's a cicada. They only buzz though when it gets to like a certain temperature. Like when it gets really, really hot, they start like yelling and shit, but it's really not that hot out. Anyways, um, so today is August 22nd, Thursday, 2024, my last video was, a day ago, about two days ago, about two days ago. Um, you know, I haven't even checked my comments in a while. Oh, wow. So, before I get started, I want to remind anyone that's watching that these messages are not going to resonate with everyone, and that's okay. If they resonate with you, because you clarity great. If it does not, then don't force it to be your story. So I've been super busy the month of August, which is why I haven't been posting as much. Um, that's really, that's why. <laughs> so, but thank you to all my, uh, twenty-five to forty-five viewers that I have. It means a lot. Thank you. I appreciate that. It's still something, right? Um. I don't know and it feels good that there's somewhere in the world there's like 25 people that still watch my content right so 25 to 45 it varies sometimes right but um so thank you for your support I appreciate that um, okay so I've been getting a particular energy like all morning but I don't really want to pull on that only because it's very there's a lot of like so I've been getting this uh, it's not really like a projection I mean you could just feel it anyways um, but there's definitely been this um, energy of m malice Coming from a uh, like a, a it's coming from somewhere, right? For some of you, it could be like I, I feel like this energy though. It, it's like the green monster on someone's back, all right? And it's just emanating malice, right? It's envy, competition, shit like that, right? Um, but the reason why I don't want to pull on that is because like who wants to be in that energy all the time like you're not like I don't know I feel like from my perspective reading about it is one thing so to imagine someone who like lives like that all day every day constant competition anger malice judgment How could that not be exhausting? Right? So reading about it is one thing. Um, so I'm I'm hoping that that doesn't come up. But um Oh. So it just changed. So thank you. Mm. All right, so did I do my intro? Before I get started, I want to remind anyone that's watching that these messages are not going to resonate with everyone, and that's okay. If they resonate with you, because you clearly agree. If it does not, then don't force it to be your story. I think I did do my intro. Whatever. All right. Um, let me move my phone right here. What else 
do I need to bring up? So there are people that are going through massive amounts of karma and they don't So for a lot of people like yes it's like God's protection is God's protection but then there are other people that are going through karma and not knowing why certain things are happening to them and it's kind of easy to see what is karma and what is meant to be I mean I guess karma is still meant to be but kind of like what's karma and then what are like delays and obstacles and like kind of like if you wake up late right and you miss the bus so you gotta take the second bus and come to find out on the first bus there was like a hold up or something like that right there was like a maniac on the bus with like a knife or something or like a gun and that's why you woke up late you know had you not missed the first bus you would have been on the first bus so that is like more of protection and like delays for a good reason right versus like if you wake up late and you can't find your shoe and then like your jacket has a hole in it right and then you go down the stairs and you trip and fall and you scrape your knee and then you're running out the door and then you step on some gum and then your coffee spills all over the ground right that's completely different that's when you got to be like right but honestly that right there sounds more like um jinxes all right um my point is is that there are people that are going through karma right now and they're not realizing why certain things are happening to them right and yes my love what's going on okay well you have to finish eating your breakfast can you finish eating your breakfast, please? No, she said no. <laughs> She's so funny. Do you want you want this back? Okay. Well. Yes, we're gonna have chocolate rooms, but you have to finish your breakfast. Hold on, let me get back. Okay, I'm back. Um. What was I saying? Okay, well, let me start pulling cards, all right? How exciting. You know, I do need a little bit more sage. Because my current sage, one second. Oh, I. So, for the most part, um, I also haven't been doing my card of the day, but that's okay. I'll get to that when I get to that, if I get to that. Cool. Let's get some cords. Hi. Hi. I do. I'm good. How are you? Um, I need some of that. Yeah. Are you eating? Okay. Mm, yeah. You gotta eat. Okay. Thank you. So it says you are aligning. So everything is falling into place for you as it should, as are you yourself. You are falling into place as you should accordingly. Your 
operating accordingly as planned. The most high is planned. Planned for you. <sighs> this is nice. Someone fell out of alignment. Um, I'm getting actually two things. Someone, one, there's someone, there's someone that fell out of alignment and that there's someone that they're not understanding the importance of falling into line, falling into place. Like, basically when you're, the best way I can put this, it's so funny too because um, I was like kind of joking with a friend of mine. I was like, soldier, as you were, right? So it's so funny that uh, this is coming into mind. It's like being a soldier of the most high God, right? You do as you're told. You obey God's orders when they arrive, when they come, right? So you can do whatever you want, blah, blah, blah. But when, it's come, when it comes time to obey God, you do as you're told, right? So I feel like there's a person around you that they fell out of line right they're just not really they're a stranger of the most high god they don't really they may not even believe in god or like they're just i don't they just fell out of line they're no longer a soldier or like they kind of like went awol what is that what is that what is that what oh my gosh what is awol it's when like a soldier goes rogue i think Absent without leave to take unauthorized time off from work, school, or other duties. Let's go AWOL and catch a baseball game this after afternoon. AWOL is an acronym for absent without leave. The term originated with the military during World War One. Soldiers, yeah. Um. So basically, a soldier has gone AWOL, like a soldier of God, or like they're just not in alignment right you are though that's the most important part here that you are in alignment you're you you are aligning you're in alignment right so and then the second thing that I was getting is that someone is not getting the importance of being aligned with the most high God they're not getting that those are two different people well there's three people in this reading it's you the person who fell out of line that's kind of like going AWOL, kind of like doing their own thing. But it's like they think that doing their own thing is going to get them the same results as if they were to do whatever the Most High God says. And that's not true because you do what the God, the Most High God says, the God. You do what God says and you get peace, freedom abundance joy happiness love you get all that so you can't kind of like think that you're going to be an evil person and then still get like hit the lot like it doesn't make sense right anyway so anyways and then the second thing the second person that person they are they're just not getting the importance of being aligned all right they're not getting it they don't, they don't, I feel like that person, so the person that's AWOL, they're just rebelling. They're, I don't know why, they're going through something, they're rebelling. Um, it's got to be some personal issue that they have with the Most High God. It's be, So that's between them and God. But the second person that they're not getting it, the reason why they're not getting it is that because they either never had a relationship or they have no interest in a relationship or they don't have a relationship with the most high God right so that's why they're not getting the importance of alignment the other person they have some relationship with the most high God and I, they're just kind of like being a brat or rebellious or whatever I don't know I'm not gonna get into that but the most important part here is that you are in alignment so that's good right Oh my gosh. All right. I've seen yes twice now. We got two cards that came out. Petty couple dark witch. Wow. 
So there is a petty couple and a dark witch. So I'm getting, I'm getting two things. I'm getting that in the, in this petty couple. It's so interesting how they're they've been constant key players in my readings like the past two weeks or so, right? I can't control how the cards come out. I don't control the. You see me shuffling on camera. Whatever comes out is whatever comes out. Like I don't control the cards. They just come out. So I'm getting two things. I'm getting there is a petty couple obviously right but within this petty couple there is a dark witch so that could be the masculine or that could be the feminine who is a dark witch the right the karmic feminine or the karmic masculine is a dark witch the other thing I'm getting is that there is a petty couple working with a dark witch I feel like it's more that one there is a petty couple working with a dark witch My ears, my ear lobe is itchy. So it's that one. There's a petty couple working with a dark witch. There goes that train again, by the way. I don't know if you've been hearing it go choo choo in the background. There's sage ashes in my coffee. Ashes to ashes, right? All right, let me get a couple more. So, out of the three alignment things that I was talking about, you being in alignment, the person who's gone a wall, and the person who just they're just not getting the importance of like being one with the Most High God, right? Um, they're not getting it because they don't have a relationship. They don't want a relationship. They don't believe in a relationship. They never had a relationship. It's just to them, the Most High God is not number one in their life. And anybody who's anybody in the collective will tell you God is number one. And then everything else follows, right? But I digress. So I think it's the Stark Witch who... I just got really, really dizzy. Oh my gosh. I think it's this Dark Witch um, who doesn't have a relationship with the Most High God. Like this person, they're just filled with malice okay anyways oh my gosh got two more keep going you're almost there and then we got the tenth house Capricorn so there's something about your reputation somebody wants to ruin your reputation or they have an issue with your reputation or it's like no matter what happens, your reputation is not, like, it's untouched. It's not, I don't know, like, your reputation is not, it doesn't satisfy them. It's like, there are people that feel and think that you can do no wrong, and it's like, it bothers them. So there's there's a petty couple out here that want to do something publicly to your reputation. But you're being told that just keep minding your business, keep aligning because whatever happens, like that's not on you, right? There could be a father involved in this within this petty couple. That could be the dark witch, or uh, the feminine in this petty couple could be the dark witch, or they're working with a dark witch. There's a father figure involved in this, or somebody has father issues. There's a group of people that are willing to do anything, even if that has to, even if that means publicly doing something to your reputation. But that's just for like, because it says success for the sake of. So it's like. There's a group of people that are not satisfied with your reputation or bothered by your reputation. And they're willing to do anything, even if it means publicly, as long as it means that they get to step on that to get themselves uh, a pedestal or, or higher or power or like above grade or, or something like that. Right? There's a group of people that are, are vying out for your reputation.
Wow. Vying out for your reputation. There's a group of people. Vying means a compete. Compete eagerly with someone in order to do or achieve something. Yeah. There's a bunch of, there's a group of people that are trying to compete with you. And I feel like in the beginning of this video, I talked about, there's like this weird malice energy. And it's like, there's somebody or that had like the green monster on their back. And it's causing them to like be, like live in malice, competition. My, my, oh my gosh, my right ear is burning. I know what I'm talking about. You can't tell me that I don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah. They're competing with you. And it's crazy because you're not competing with anybody but either yourself or your old self. I feel like if you're co a collective, it would make sense for you. If you're in a competition, it would be with no one else other than yourself, right? To be better than you were yesterday, better than you were yesterday, right? It's kind of like that. But it's weird because these people are competing with you and you don't even know about it. You may not even care about it. If you do know about it, you don't care about it. And it's weird because they're not, it's so weird. I don't feel like it's you they're competing against. It's your reputation. What, uh, it's your, your social status, your, so I'm hearing something about command your image your public image they're trying to compete with that they want to take it down what a wicked way to live like aren't you <laughs> anyways basically you're being told that's not your business right it doesn't matter it says keep going you're almost there it doesn't matter it really doesn't matter the letter v they want okay these people, for some reason, it's when it comes to like achieving victory, I'm seeing the six of wands. It's very like unattainable for them or like they feel like it's unattainable. So it's like the only way that they can do this is if they like publicly destroy your reputation, which will in turn give them the one up for victory, which will then in turn give them a sense of victory or accolades or like recognition, popularity, reputation. But they don't realize if you have to step on somebody to get victory, that's not victory. That's not respected. I hope you know that. Especially when you're competing with someone who's not even paying attention to you, not even focused on you, minding their own business. I hope you know that. You're competing for what? And then what happens after that? So you tear down someone's reputation for success and then what? You tear down someone else's reputation for success and then what? And then what? And then what? I just don't understand why this is a necessary route for these people. But again, you have to realize these are godless people, right? They don't have a reputation with the most high God. There could be a karmic Capricorn involved, or you are a Capricorn. There's no honor amongst thieves. You gotta think about it. If there's a group of people that are willing to band up together to steal a reputation from you, or your public image, or your status, or whatever, you don't think they're going to turn on each other and steal amongst each other? There's no honor amongst thieves. Mommy, yes, my love. My milk. You want milk? They are. They like to play the blame game. Mommy. Yes, my love. Okay. Hold on. Oops, sorry. Okay. Um. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. They like to play the blame game. So... I don't know what's going on with this, but somebody is trying to blame you for something. They want to blame me for something. I'm getting like really dizzy.
What is the blame? They're blaming you because, uh, like, I'm seeing a, a thread being woven. They feel like your reputation, your power, your status, your legacy, whatever, is a reason why they're stuck in a certain position. So they're blaming that on you. So that's why they feel like if they can publicly ruin your reputation, it would like jumpstart them to a position, a power, a promotion. I don't know. It's like these are like social climbers, but like they have to, in order to do this, they have to like talk bad about people or like put people down and build themselves up. These are people that put other people down to build themselves up. And that's the difference between you and them. You don't have to do that to build yourself up. You can just build yourself up, build yourself up, and that's it. And not only that, but you build other people up. These people, they can only be, they can only build themselves up and feel like they're accomplishing something or feel like they look like I'm hearing the man in the mirror. In order for them to be able to look at themselves in the mirror, they have to like show everybody their own flaws. And that is so wicked. Because if like, they point out other people's flaws. It makes them feel good that they're not the only ones with flaws. Right? But it's weird because even with that, they still don't like what they see in the mirror. So even if they do put other people down just to step on them, just to build themselves up, they're still never going to feel the way they think doing all of this will make them feel because it's not anything that you're doing. It's how they feel about themselves. So they can, that's what I'm saying, like, if you constantly do this over and over and over again, like, you're not going to achieve what you think you're going to achieve because you still, for some reason, can't look at yourselves in the mirror. It's not the collective, it's whatever's inside you. Why do you have that green monster? Why are you feeling such malice and envy and jealousy and competition? Why? Because the collective is minding their own business. They're not doing anything. You see what I'm saying? So... I don't understand. It's not anything you're doing, but they want to publicly ruin your reputation. It's like a, a, it's like a grand, hear ye, hear ye, everybody gather around and listen to the story we have to tell. It's like that. But I'm also getting that if they do this or as they do this, everyone's just going to be like, oh, who cares? Oh, tell us something we don't know. Or, oh, <laughs> Boo! I'm seeing tomatoes being thrown at them. It's like... If they do this, they're not going to get the recognition or the respect or the opportunities that they think this will bring them. That's what I'm trying to say. boyfriend or ex-husband so this could be your ex-boyfriend or ex-husband that's trying to blame you for something <sighs> congratulations you leveled up on the bottom of the deck I really gotta rewrite that let me put that to the side from caterpillar to butterfly. Yeah, so the reason why you leveled up is because you transformed. You turned from a caterpillar, hold on, from a caterpillar to a butterfly. I gotta rewrite that one too. All right, that's why. So I feel like someone is just jealous. There, because you're just not, I don't, I don't fucking know. This is really annoying. Who went AWOL?
also somebody feels like you don't take accountability or they don't like the fact that you're not publicly talking about yourself or admitting something publicly but I feel like whatever that is it's not really important it's like whatever that is it's being overhyped by this petty couple in reality it's like not nah. It's like, oh, okay, boo, you brought us here, you gathered us here, you into the town square just to tell us something like that, boo, you suck, and throwing tomatoes at them, you wasted our time, that's essentially what this is, it's like a bunch of people are trying to gather the community, the town, the neighborhood, the company, whatever, into like the town square and like, hear ye, hear ye, I have a message, I have a news, I have an announcement, blah, 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 the collective, and everyone's just like looking at each other like, you gathered us here just to tell us something, that's nothing, that isn't, we really know the sky's blue, <laughs> right? But it's, it's, I don't know, it, there's, it's like, it's not... I don't know. All right, let me move on. Listen to what your body is telling you. Something in your body needs to be healed. So for a lot of you, if you feel like you need to go to the doctors, go to the doctors. If you need to get that blood work done, get that blood work done. If you feel like you... I don't know, miss an appointment, double check and reschedule it to make sure you don't, you know, make sure everything's kosher up to, <laughs> I'm hearing up to code, right? Make sure everything's kosher, everything's good, all right? Um, just double check with your body, yourself, right? It couldn't hurt, right? The more, it, it, there's also, it also benefits you in the long run because it, the card, the first card that came out says you are aligning. Right, so you want to make sure you're on top of your physical health as you are your mental health, your emotional health, and your spiritual health, right? So your physical health, try not to forget about that and then put that on the back burner. Like just because you're good on the inside, like the vessel that holds you and keeps you together, you also have to protect that and make sure like that's, is okay, right? So just a little reminder. All right, so let me see what else do I need. Hook a kipper. My eye itches. Hold on. She just turned on her piano. That's so funny because she has like a certain setting and she goes to stance. And then she is too stinking cute. She's so funny. She goes, Mama, dance party. Like, yeah, okay. I love being a mom. It's my favorite thing about me. Truly. So we got family room in the reverse that came out. Sorry, I zoned out. That's why I was like shuffling for so long. Um, so.
someone is gonna be abandoned by a family either their family or if they try to gather your family members into the town square hear you hear you I have an announcement about the collective blah 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 nobody cares about that they're being booed and hit with tomatoes we already know the sky is blue someone also doesn't understand the importance of a uh, family or like the I, I there's like a, an idea or a sense or like something about keeping something close-knit or together like uh, that's why I was seeing the um, the needle and thread. Like something is being stitched together. There's a connection here. Uh, hold on. There's something is not as it seems. There's like a, a bigger picture here, but I feel like the people who are, who don't really understand what's really at stake, I feel like those are the same people that are trying to like publicly ruin your reputation, not knowing. To them, it's just, yeah, we're going to get recognition, we're going to get victory, we're going to get success, we're going to get wins promotion money whatever like that's how that's how small they see it that's how small their thinking is not realizing that there's some something much bigger going on here right and it has to do with like something being stitched together but that's more like a, a spiritual thing that's that's why i'm saying like they don't understand the importance of alignment that certain things are falling into place as it should for a reason because that's how God commanded it to be and I did say the word there's something about command God commanded something to be and these people they're not they don't either have a relationship with God or they don't believe in God or they don't care about that but to them they just see it as like oh yeah let's go to the town square and say well but there's something much bigger here and that's what I'm saying, like, if whatever they're planning on doing, whatever they're about to do, it's not going to have the effect that they think it's going to have the effect. It's just not. These people could have, like, a weird or an outdated idea of family. Which is weird because family room is in reverse. So they may not even like their own family or the family dynamic that they're in or that they have. Or they may feel abandoned by their family. But whatever twisted idea that they have about family, it's just not ideal in today's world. Like, I don't know how to say that. Like... It would kind of the best example I can give is like the women stay home and the men work, and for a time that's probably that's obviously like that was the best way. That's the only way that because of you know the restrictions that women had. But nowadays it's just like that's not feasible because of the economy, because there are many fields and many examples and many like areas where women are just much more like better suited than men like when it comes to like all right um like a midwife all right yeah a man could can be a midwife but at the end of the day a woman is the best midwife for another woman especially if she's gone through childbirth herself and carried children herself and gone through all of that right like that she would be the best midwife for a woman 
right? Like she understands it better, the, the physical, the emotional, the mental, the spiritual, right? She understands it better. That's what I'm saying. Like, but like in today's age, it's just whatever these people are thinking, whatever mindset that they have, it's just not working for today. And that's why they're not seeing the bigger picture. And to be honest, it doesn't seem like they care to either. And that's, I think that's the biggest reason why you're not paying attention to whatever this is. There's a difference. So someone could be watching this and be like, well, you're not paying attention, but you're talking about it. Yes, because there's a difference. Just because you are aware of it doesn't mean you have to pay attention to it, right? Like, yes, I know that there is a duck walking by me, but I'm not going to be looking at that duck walking by, right? I'm going to be minding my own business, right? That's, you are aligning. We have expectation reverse. I'm telling you. What they think they're going to be getting out of this is not. They're not going to get it. They're not like... They're expecting some sort of outcome by publicly putting your reputation on the line. It's not going to give what you think it's going to give. I don't know what you think you're doing, but I'm telling you right now, it's not going to work. They could have already tried to do this too, as you know, like. <laughs> Unbelievable. I'm also getting that they're getting frustrated because it's not something something is just not working out. Right? <laughs> Did you know that the collective thinks the sky is blue? Can you believe that? We already know the sky is blue. <laughs> like, <laughs> All right. Let me get one more kipper and then I'm going to change to tarot. Ooh. Ooh. Hold on. Are you okay? Okay, you pick up your toys. <laughs> Official person reverse. Mm hmm. Marriage on the bottom of the deck. There could be a karmic Capricorn that wants to be... Doesn't have to be a Capricorn, but um... For some of you, it is a karmic Capricorn. For others of you, it could be any other sign, right? Or you could be this Capricorn, right? But there is somebody who they want to be seen as someone who, like with this 10th house, talks about reputation, social status, success, honor, legacy, right? So you have this official person in reverse. They want to have that status. They want to be seen as someone who's very accomplished, very successful, right? Um, a great reputation. Everybody in the community respects them, adores them, loves them. They want to be seen as that. But at the end of the day, they are an official person in reverse. They're karmic. They're not. It's like this person, for example, this person is a cop, right? They want to be seen as a good cop so bad, but they're not. And everybody sees them as a bad cop. Everybody thinks that they're a bad cop. Everybody looks at them as a bad cop, right? But they want to be seen as a good cop so bad, but they're just not. Or if they're like a lawyer, they want to be seen that they're like the best lawyer. They're a good lawyer, but they're just very shoddy at their job. They're not very good at their job. 
They hardly get hired. Like, they're like, there's also something about being put on the back burner. This karmic official person in reverse, this could be somebody who wants power so bad, but it's like, they feel like they're always being put on the back burner. Like, they don't have the power that they desire, the power that they wish they had, the power that they think they deserve. And they don't have it. So, honestly, this could be the Dark Witch. And it's like... What you think you're doing, it's not given the effect that is what you think you're doing. Because, again, the sky is blue. Everybody knows the sky is blue. So, if they're going around saying, Did you know the collective thinks the sky is blue? The town is going to be like, Boo! You brought us here to tell us that the collective thinks the sky is blue? We already know the sky is blue. Tomato. <laughs> rotten tomato. That is so funny. Can you imagine somebody being hit in the face with a rotten tomato? That is so old school. That is like... That's funny. I feel like they're, they're kind of just like stuck on this. There's not... I, they're just stuck in this. I don't know how else to say it, but... If they weren't so stuck in this and focus on what they needed to be focused on the the outcome that's going to happen for them would not be the outcome that's going to happen for them but they refuse to move on from trying to publicly destroy or ruin your reputation they're not moving on from this Where'd she go? She just disappeared. Wow, she made a huge mess and then just disappeared. All right, I'm gonna get into some tarot and then I'm gonna... <sighs> Close the reading. I guess I use this deck because I keep looking at it. Oh boy. Here we go. Yes, my love. Oh, baby. Page of Wands up right. Right now. You don't need one right now. Mm -hmm. uh, excuse me. I don't. No. You don't need one right now. I don't. No. <laughs> we got. <laughs> Hold on. We got the Page of um. Stop. <laughs> Page of Wands, upright. Um, no, I don't. There's something about no. you're going to get some good news collected. No. <laughs> Stop. No. <laughs> you're going to get some good news. No. Sorry, like she's like putting on her weight on me and I'm trying to like hold her back. <laughs> 
to start. Go. 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 <laughs> oh my God. So, yeah, we got the page of wands upright. Something, you're going to be getting some good news. We're seeing some good news. Or some. Um. <laughs> new idea yeah. some of you are going to be getting some new ideas yeah. um it's a, it's a multitude of things new ideas good news some form of some form of um good communication and i feel like the more you just kind of like in a way, like keep to yourself. You're just gonna be getting idea after idea after idea after idea. Alright. This this petty couple, this group, they also want to know how you're constantly salvaging your reputation. But I'm not going to get into that because that's not for me to say. Yes, my love. Do not open that, please. Ow, my finger. Yeah, take your, yeah, right. No, you don't need a band-aid. I swear, kids, they see a band-aid and they want all the band-aids. Huh? Yes, we're going to play with the sand in a bit, but you got to give mommy a couple minutes, okay? Excuse me. Shh. Don't shush me. What the? Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Stop. All right. Uh, and. Oh, hold on. Stop playing with the door and leave the ants alone. All of that, but with a little ant, <laughs> she screams. Better? Six of Pentacles. So that could be the good news that you're getting. Things are going to be balanced out for you. Things are... I feel like you're getting what you deserve. I'm angry. Why are you... Well, listen. If you never touch that, then you won't be angry. That's not for you to touch. Do not touch things that are not for you to touch, and then you won't be angry. I feel like that's basically the key message in this reading right here. Mind what you need to mind, and you won't be upset when what you minded doesn't turn out to be successful for you. Page of Wands, upright. Six of Pentacles, upright. That's the good news that you're getting. Plus, with you are aligning, things are being given to you. It's like thing, whatever was is meant to be yours, it's yours. Whatever is meant to be given to you is going to be given to you, right? And this is all good. Six of page of wands is six of pentacles. For some of you, it could be your finances are being put in order. Um, your mental, your physical, your health could be put in order. For some of you, your your health, like if your health was being siphoned or your vitality your energy or whatever uh or if somebody was doing magic on your health it's like your health is now back in order it's you're you're good now your test results are normal it's everything is as it should be your finances are everything is being like i'm hearing equally yoked Look. yes my love Look. yes but you have to wait okay i can afford it you know, leave it alone. Stop touching that. No. That's not for you to touch. Mine. Uh, okay, well. Oh. You're going to find out that that's not for you to touch. There's also something about your heart. Your heart, the reason why this is happening for you is because 
because um you know how what is it who does it um baby your toe was perfectly fine my dear what is it in egypt um who who is is it anubis right the egyptian god anubis he weighs the hearts with a feather and if the heart is heavier than the feather then you're gonna get eaten right if not then you get blessed in the fields of elysium right which is like peace heaven things like that right so i feel like your heart has been weighed and it was being weighed the entire time you see how there's like a feather on the scale with a bunch of coins your heart is lighter than the thing of coins so that's why this coin is being given to this person right so your heart was being judged and your heart is being judged by our higher power that's why you're getting nothing but good news and things are being put in place for you put in order for you so basically your heart is in the right place when it comes to something and that's what I'm saying there's a group of people here they're not seeing the bigger picture they're just seeing what their small tunnel vision is allowing them to see they're seeing you as they allow themselves to see themselves right they're not seeing the bigger picture what you're doing or how you're operating or you're just part of a bigger picture and they're not seeing that that's they're not seeing that your heart is in the right place of something that's why you're getting good news that's why good things are always happening for you to you around you and but to them it's they're not seeing that so they think something nefarious is going on that's why they're willing to try and publicly put your reputation on the line or publicly try to destroy your reputation that's why they're not gonna get what they think they're gonna get I feel like that's kind of like self-explanatory at this point I'm also hearing it's all about intentions right so this dark witch whoever he is or whoever she is she feels like if she has the right amounts like negative intentions for like a spell work or an action she or he feels like that intention alone is enough to make something happen you're dead wrong because like it's so annoying when people be like oh it's all about intentions it's you don't have to worry about karma literally everything is on the wheel of dharma literally i'm getting so dizzy right now that's why again in the beginning of the video i talked about there are things that people are going through not realizing that the reason why they're going through those things that they are going through is because of karma right you can't do something with just intentions alone and be like i don't believe in you ever see people who be like all you need is intention you don't have to worry about karma you don't have to worry about blah 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 blah, blah. like if they're protected your your intentions alone is enough to break through their barrier that is such tomfoolery one to think and one to say because intentions alone is not enough like you mean to tell me that I intend to start my diet tomorrow I intend to start my diet tomorrow but if you're not actually doing anything about it you think you're magically gonna start that diet and then you're gonna magically like start getting healthier like no it's not just intentions alone so the reason why I'm saying that is because this dark witch whoever they are they feel like intentions alone is enough to get something done but one if you're operating out of dark intentions like it's being seen it's known right like your intentions are to destroy someone else's reputation publicly that's your intentions that right there alone is what puts you out of the game it's like the minute your intentions become nefarious and dark like you're not even on the playing field anymore this the it's not the same there's no competition there's
I saw it. What was it? Five of Swords reverse. I just. What did I just say? Five of Swords reverse. This is. They just want to be petty and vengeful and like. That's that's what their intentions are about. That's how they're operating. And it shows. Your intentions are to be petty and vengeful and you want revenge and you want to like punish someone and you want to just like, your intentions are clear and obvious and it shows. You're not doing something because, oh, out of like concern or like worry or that's not what this is about and it shows. It shows. Right? Like, again, with the whole intentions thing, their true intentions is showing. But again, you are aware of what's going on. That's not your business. Like, that's, you're just focused on your Six of Pentacles, your Page of Wands, Six of Pentacles. I'm hearing stay out of this. But that's a message for you. You need to stay out of whatever's going on in the background. That has nothing to do with you. So again, yes, you are aware, but at the same time, just mind your business. And I feel like that's the best thing that you can do, Collective. And that may sound harsh, but this really isn't... Like, yes, it, it may... It, their intentions are to attack your reputation, right? So people, other people might be like, well, if my name is in their mouth, that has to do with me, but, but it's in whose mouth? Their mouth. So that has nothing to do with you because people are going to say what they want to say. People are going to do what they want to do. People are going to, like, you can't stop someone from eating at a certain restaurant, right? That's what they want to do, right? So it's like, You can't stop a person shitting from where exactly they want to eat from. You're, this is, stay out of this. This has nothing to do with you. Be aware, and I feel like if you're not aware, you know, just kind of like look up and maybe like look around, see what's going on. But that's it. That's it. You don't have to fight. You don't have to go on the defense. You don't have to... Nothing. You don't have to do anything. You don't. What else? I think... That might be it for this deck. Oh. Ooh. Interesting. Let's see what comes out of this one. Damn, this reading's like an hour long already. Page of Bones came out again. That's Page of Wands. You're getting a lot, a lot of good news. And I feel like that's one of the reasons why they're getting um, more and more into the Five of Swords reverse energy. Like it's like seeping into them. That, that green monster on their back is growing and growing because every time they do something, they look at you and you get Page of Wands. You get good news. So they feel some type of way. That's not right. Why? That's not right. So then they do something again. Then they look at you. More page of bones energy, right? And that green monster is just growing and growing and growing, right? So at this point, they cannot hide their intentions. That's what I'm saying. It shows. Whatever you karmics are doing, <laughs> it shows. And I'm not trying to, like, be an ass about it, but, like, 
just stop, maybe. So it shows. And you're just getting more good news, more ideas, more energy, more like more and more things are coming to you, or you're receiving things, things are being balanced out for you with that six of pentacles. Your money could be good. Your energy could be good. Your stability could be good. I'm even hearing like your food could be good too. <laughs> I pinch your right after I pinch my right. She's just relaxing now. A page of pentagrams. Wow. And there's two people there too. Page of pentagrams, which is like the page of pentacles. This is what they're putting all their energy into, all their time. This is what they want to do. They want to keep doing this. That's what I'm saying. It's like they're stuck in this. And that's why you're also being reminded to stay out of this. You cannot. They want to be stuck in this energy, whether they're choosing to or whether like they, they can't help it because of the green monster on their back. They could also be giving you the evil eye. So, um wear like an evil eye amulet I forgot what it's called but it's the blue eye or like wear it for like to ward this off or just like pray to the most high God because really that's all you really need Mommy. yes my love relaxed. you're relaxed you look relaxed I'm get itchy Yeah, these people are trying to like investigate you or like okay. trying to figure something oh, yeah. out. Yes, baby. Scratch. Hold on one second. All right, I'm back. Um. So yeah, they're trying to like investigate something, investigate you. This is what they're putting all their energies into, and the only reason why they're in trying to like investigate you is because like they're. First of all, they're doing this out of, to be petty. Um, they're doing this <clears throat> out of revenge. Um, because they, they're trying to compete with you. I also feel like they need like a, a valid reason to like... They're trying to justify the reason why they're being petty. Or they're trying to justify the reason why they're competing with you. Or they're trying to justify the reason why they're like... It's like... They're coming across as like we're concerned, but it shows it's just revenge, right? That's what I'm saying. Like it shows, like their heart is being weighed, and it's like that feather is going, getting higher and higher, and their heart is getting lower and lower, because there's no way you're coming across. We have concerns for the collective, but like it's it's not giving what you think it's giving. It's it's out of like revenge, because otherwise, why would you try to like? publicly ruining the collective reputation that doesn't scream concern that screams revenge all right so this is what they're putting all their energy into into like investigating you and in the show i remember <laughs> these two like they wanted to be ghost hunters so bad but when like they saw something real they ran they're like oh no we don't <laughs> we can't deal with this right it was so funny in other words, they're no match to the real deal, which was like Sam and Dean. These two idiots are no match for you. That's what I'm saying. Like, also, like, how can you expect to their their view, their picture is so tunnel vision on something so small. They're not seeing the bigger picture. So, and actually, too, um, they kind of were idiots. I'm not saying that they're not smart. I'm just saying like they're they're just they're just idiots right and bottom and they're they're very comical right so these people could be amusing somehow some way We have the Six of Cups. 
and the Ten of Bones. Reverse. There's also something about your sword. So, even though this is the Page of Bones, I feel like because she's holding that sword, all you're doing is like... I'm just going to put this down real quick. Minding your own business. Like, you have your back turned to these people. So, you could be a Divine Feminine or you could be a Divine Masculine. But you know, as long as you stand in your truth and mind your business, none of this matters. Hold on, hold on one second. Hold on. So, yeah. <laughs> and then we have the Ten of Bones reversed. And the Six of Cups upright. You know what? Let me get one more. I think this is going to be the last one, and then I'm going to close the reading. Because there's something I need to see. Ten of Bones reverse. Here, I'll show you. This is like Roman numerals. But um, that's the X, and that's the bone. That would be like the Ten of Wands. Right? This is Cascale, by the way. And then we have the Six of Cups upright. So, you could have, like, I feel like with that page there, too, right, it's, like, um, a lot of energy. Like, you have a lot of energy. Like, you're just, like, like, the sun card, right? That's, like, energy, um, childlike youth, childlike energy childlike wonder um fifth house is like but the heart right leo fifth house that's like um expressing yourself truly being able to express yourself enjoying yourself being happy um affairs of the heart so you operate out of your heart right it's uh nothing but energy and in the sun card I know in my um, my more traditional tarot decks, there the sun card. There's a child galloping on a horse, right? And there's like flowers in the background, so you're like free and very energetic. Like kids, they have nothing but energy, right? Like they're just always right. So it's like these people are exhausted, worn out by your energy your childlike energy there's also something about their past that makes them act the way they are acting again that's what i'm saying like they can't even by even if they did all of this they feel like it's enough for that for them to look at themselves in the mirror but it's it's not enough because no matter how many people they step on no matter how many reputations they destroy no matter how many it's never going to be enough for these people because the true situation, the true issues, it's not, they think that they're competing with you, but they're competing with the image that they have of you because it makes them feel some type of way about the image that they have about themselves. That's what I'm saying. It will never be enough for these people because at the end of the day, they think that they're competing with you. No, it's how they're competing with how your image makes them feel about themselves. So that's why their intentions are, it shows. The way they're acting and operating, it shows. Because you, collective, you're aware of this. You see this. But you're minding your business. You have your back turned to this. Because at the end of the day, all you have to do is stand in your truth and mind your business. And that's what you're doing. So that's why it, it just, it doesn't make sense that they're stuck in this. They're stuck in this. And they're exhausted. Because all their energy is being put into this. And they're tired. They're exhausted. They're not getting the outcome that they think that they're getting. And on top of that, they're blaming you because somehow, some way, you're able to salvage your reputation. But it's not even like that. It's your heart is in the right place. Their heart is not. And they're trying to attack someone who is operating because of a bigger picture. You are doing what God is telling you to do. And that's... I'm like... 
They don't see it like that. But that's not your problem. All you got to do is stand in your truth with this page of bones. Right? That's why you have other... And they're also wondering, like, where, why you have all this energy is because you're putting your energy where it belongs, where it needs to go. You're not putting your energy into this. This is what's draining their energy. That's why you have so much energy because you're like, oh, that's not for me. God is telling me to stay out of that. Okay, I'll stay out of that. And that's why you have all this energy, all these... Everything is, like, fair for you. All right? Yeah. That's the last card. Page of Blades reversed. They're spying on you. They're watching you. They're trying to, like, keep track of you. They're trying to, like, figure out what's going on. They're trying to understand you. They're trying to read you. They're trying to figure you out. With that page of pentagram, uh, page of pentagrams energy, like the whole investigation thing, there's like a secret investigation going on that you are aware of, but at the same time you don't know what's going on. That has nothing to do with you, right? God's telling you to stay out of it. So you have a group of people that are investigating you and stalking you and spying you and watching you and trying to figure out what's going on and trying to study you, trying to learn you, trying to figure out this and that and this and that and this and that. That's on them, right? And I know some people be like, well, it has to do with me, blah, blah, blah. So, well, be that as it may, but you're not the one that's watching you, right? That's what I'm saying. I feel like also with the Page of Swords reversed, they're trying to justify the reason why they're investigating you and stalking you and spying you and watch you. They're trying to justify the reasons for this. And so that way it gives them the excuse to, like, call the town square together. Right? They, they want a reason so bad to justify their plans of publicly ruining your reputation or attempting to publicly ruin your reputation. They want to justify that so bad. So bad. But when the time comes, they're going to call the town square together. The town, I hear ye, hear ye. The collector thinks the sky is blue. Everyone's just going to be side-eyeing each other. And, Boo, you suck. Rotten tomato. Like, we already know. One, that the collector thinks the sky is blue. And two, we already know that the sky is blue. You call us here for what? This is a reading. Hope it helps. Bye.